Hi besties, welcome back. <coughs> I almost lost my voice there. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing, wonderful day today. We are going to do a Timu haul today. A um, little bit of everything in here as usual. I, I, uh, I'm working with a new tripod and I'm a little bit worried because my camera's like farther away from me. So I literally can't see like what I'm doing in the like it's just so far away from me I can't even see it so one I hope that the volume or the what do I want to say the audio is okay and I also hope I'm in frame so here's to hoping right okay uh let's just go ahead and get right into this uh just so you know I will leave a link below for uh the items that I show in the haul, it'll be like a link to my cart. You can click on that and add things to your cart if you want anything in, in here. I did price, I think, everything, so I kind of know what the prices are so I can let you guys know. Also, uh, two things today. I'm going to mention two channels. Um, first channel I'm going to mention is uh, Faith's Champagne taste on a beer budget i have been binge watching her channel how she only has like 1100 subscribers i'll tell you what there's some darn good channels out there that only have like a thousand subscribers and i don't know why um this is one of them <laughs> there's a couple but this is one of them the act the other one i'm gonna mention is two but please go check out faith's champagne taste on a beer budget i mean she does some good editing and like way better even than me like so i'm uh, yeah really great Timu videos. Um, she describes everything really well and, you know, just really good channel to follow. So please check her out. Also would like to shout out my friend, Miss Tammy Nall Tillett. Uh, please go check her channel out. She's trying to get 4,000 um, watch hours so she can get monetized. But the fun thing is that Tammy sent me something in the mail. She is so sweet and kind and generous. You really need to check out her channel too. So I, like I said, I'll link both of their channels, maybe with my cart links. Cause I always pin a comment. If you go down to my comments, I'll pin a comment. So you don't have to look in the description box for everything. I think the cats are wrestling, but, um, so I recently traded in my Jeep. I'm not, a, I'm no longer a Jeep girl. I can't even believe it. Like, I feel like I'm too old for Jeeps. I don't know. You're someone's probably never too old for anything, but so I actually, I didn't get a new car because I just, you know, I'm just, I'm not rich. So I don't ever buy brand new vehicles. Actually, I, I went back two years. I have a 2017 Cadillac now. <laughs> and I had a 2019 Jeep, so I don't know. I just felt like I was in my grandma, cat mom, Cadillac era, mob boss lady era. So I went, I went, and got went for the Cadillac. It was really nice. Had really low mileage. Um, it came from down south. So uh, anywho, to make a long story short, I told Tammy that I traded in the caddy or traded in my Jeep for the caddy, and she sent me something for my car. So. Um, this was it, and I've been I've been kind of hanging on to it so I could just show you guys on camera. Now I don't have the prices for this stuff because Tammy sent it to me, so I I just don't know the prices. So yeah, make sure you check out her channel as well. Um, so let's see what she sent. It looks like a a sticker. Let me put that down there. Okay, sticker says, oh gosh, let me merge. There's a why do they do that? They put a sticker over the back. I think it said, oh, I think it says, Bestie, please let me merge. Oh, that's funny. I think that's what it says. The stickers are in the way. Bestie, please let me merge. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I love that. The other thing is, I'm so far back from the camera, I am not going to be able to tell if this stuff is, like, in focus or if I'm out of focus or anything, which I hate. So, I love that. Bestie, please let me merge. I love that. Okay. Next is this. It's a little protection pin. I love this. I can tell by looking at it. It's amazing already. It's like a little protect. Oh, it's got like a, a visor clip on the back. And it is this like a Saint Angel? Oops, I dropped the paper. Oh my gosh, my eyes. Saint Christopher, protect us. Oh, I love that. Protect me and my passenger and all who pass me, pass by with a steady hand and a watchful eye. Oh, that's really cool. I love that. 
I love that. And it's got like a little visor clip on the back. That is so cool. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. And then there's something in here. Let's see what's in here. Looks like another little clip. Oh, it says like a sunglass clip. Oh, these are awesome. And it's blinged out. And it's black and pink. Two of my favorite colors. How cool is this? Little sunglass clip. I literally don't know if that's focusing or not. But you clip it like, you know, on your on your visor. And then you can put your glasses under there. And there's like a little pad under there. I love that. Look how blingy it is. Woo! Very nice. Love it. Thank you so much, Tammy, for thinking of me. That is so very sweet and kind of you. She is so very sweet and kind. You guys need to check out her channel. Okay, on to the Temu haul. Temu the Moo, as I like to call it. So I bought another set of these eyeshadow sticks. You guys, I love these. I can't get enough of these eyeshadow sticks. And these kind of gave me a fall vibe. So they were 13-ish. I can't remember the exact price. And of course I didn't write it down, but it was 13 50 or something like that um they came from local warehouse there's actually an expiration date on here 12 no january 21st of 2027 anywho to see how many are in here there's like a whole set and i love these they are so nice look how beautiful the set is when you get it i mean gorge so um whoa this is what they look like. The brand is Luxaza, I think is what that says. I don't know. But one end is the eyeshadow stick and the other end is actually a blending brush. And these kind of gave me, like, like I said, fall vibes a little bit. So I grabbed the whole set. They're like um, kind of like mauve into like an orangey fall type of thing. So, I mean, look at the color payoff on that thing. I feel like I'm sitting so far back. I can't. I hate it. I can't stand it. Okay. Oh, do these have colors? Oh, they have color numbers. So like that one says 216, I think. I don't know if you can even see it. And then, yeah, so they all have like color numbers. And this is like a mauvey brown. I'm just going to do a couple of these and then I'll blend them out so I can show you. But I love these like orangey kind of colored ones. If you have blue eyes and you put like orange or peach eyeshadow on your eyes like boop they pop right out and i'm thinking about now i don't have my um but anyways i don't want to i don't want to go through like all of these because there's one two three four five six seven eight nine, there's like 11 10 or 11 in here but you get i mean you could create all kinds of eye looks with these like this is what they look like on my hand and then when you blend them, they blend out so well. Like, they're very creamy. And the um, the actual brush on the end of these is great. It's very soft, so that's blended out right there. They're really good. I'm telling you, these are really good. And I love cream eyeshadows, cream makeup. If you can hear the cats, they're running around chasing each other. We're actually thinking about adding a third cat. <laughs> Guys, tell me... <laughs> I don't, I love cats so much. I love, I'm, I've always loved cats. Like my whole life, my mom used to call me the cat whisperer because we would always have cats just like show up at our house. And I was the only one the cats would come to. So she's like, you're like the cat whisperer. And I've just always had a soft spot for cats. Um, you know, and yeah. So I don't know guys, what do you think? Should we add a third? We have two one-year-olds and then I actually got an ado adoption application for a male. He's about three or four. He's a Maine Coon. I just don't know. I just don't know if I want to add like one more, you know? I mean, I I would love to, but I just, <sighs> I feel like they're my babies. So when Brian's like, hey, let's go somewhere. Let's go see my mom and dad. Cause his mom and dad live like four hours away. I'm always like, I don't want to leave my babies, you know? So it's really hard for me to leave the house with, with the animals here. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I just cannot. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just like my age. I'm getting older and I just, I just don't know what it is, but I have the hardest time leaving my cats. I don't know why. I'm sorry, but I just do. I don't need to apologize for that, I suppose. I just, I have, I'm in my feelings about my cats. I know, but whatever. Okay, I think I've shown these before. This is a, I think I have another one in here too, somewhere. Anyway, this one's a pink one. It was 248 
um, it's just a pink headband, um, looks like this, it's got like a woven type of texture to it, really pretty pink, I really like that, so $2.48 for that, all right, let's look at this, these are, um, I think these are like glass cleaning cloths, I wear readers and glasses constantly, like even at work, so I always have a ton of these like glass cleaning cloths or microfiber cloths. And these were $2.68. You get six, but I like them because they have like a um, kind of a vintage floral vibe to them. So I had to have them because I love anything vintage. Anything vintage. Okay. But yeah, it's just like six cleaning cloths, but you get six different ones. So there's this one. It's got like some butterflies. And then this one is just like a white, pink, and I don't know, is that black? Or it's kind of blue, but there's some black on it. And then you get this orangey one. I just thought they were really pretty than to just have like an old white, you know, glass cleaner or old. I think they're usually black, honestly, but yeah, there's that one. And then this one. So you get all six. But I like to just keep these in, in my glass case. And I have several glass cases because I have readers everywhere. Um, so yeah, they were $2.68 for six. Alrighty, let's grab this thing here. Um, this came to my address, so I have to assume that it's like a... It might have came from a local warehouse, potentially. I don't know. What in the world? Or maybe it was just a separate order and I stuck it in here. So first up is this. It's just a wardrobe fragrance bag. Um, so I, it was 57 cents and I think it's lavender, but I almost hate to open it, but it's got like a little hook right here. I'll, I'll, put, I'll go upstairs and put it in my closet, I guess. Or I was thinking you could put this in your car or take it on vacation with you and put it in your, you know, your clothing bag, like when you travel. Mm, I don't know if I put this in my travel bag. <laughs> I'm sorry, no. But it's got this little like, you know, you can hang it up somewhere, and then this is what it looks like, but the smell, it smells citrusy. It doesn't say what fragrance it is. Does it say on here? I thought maybe it was lavender. Oh, it says lavender, but it don't smell like lavender. To me, it smells more like citrus. I don't know, but... That's what it looks like, and it was 57 cents, so maybe you could hang it by, like, your cat litter box or wear your shoes, like, where your kids put their shoes or something. I don't know. Okay, this was a $1.79 rose frame purple mirror lens. This must be a pair of sunglasses. Yeah, it is. Does this take you back? Like, <laughs> takes me back. These were $1.79. They, they remind me of, like, Risky Business with Tom Cruise. And Rebecca, what was her name? Rebecca what? They might remember. It's not coming to me right now, but very 80s, hot pink 80s with mirrors. Oh, yes. Living in a material world material. All right. I'm embarrassing myself. Oh, bless you, Kermit. Kermit's got the sneezies. Okay, so those are pretty nice for $1.79. Love those. Very 80s. I love that. I'm an 80s gal. I grew up in the 80s, graduated in the 90s, and uh, obviously, look at my hair and everything. Like, I always pull my hair up like this, mainly to keep my hair out of my face, but, you know, we did do, like, the bump in high school. Okay, next are the... Uh, well, I better put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. This was, this set of pens was only 98 cents. You get one, two, three, four, five pens. And they are the Ho Hello Kitty Sanrio, Sanrio, uh, Lover, Sanrio Lovers Club. But how cute are those? Like 98 cents for five pens? What? Especially Hello Kitty pens? Um, yes, please. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me take them out of here. These are really cute. These are really freaking cute. Stinking cute. Whatever you want to say. Look how cute those are. I love those. And then you, these are like, they're like padded right here. Oh, I love these. And of course they're pink and black. We love that. Let's see what color they write. Oh, they have little things on the pen thing. Oh, shoot. I just pulled that whole thing out. Oh my gosh, Jen. It's black ink. Let me set that one to the side. 
I was overly aggressive with that. How the heck do you, I'm, you know what guys, I'm scared to do this because I pulled that right off. Hold on. Okay, so they are black gel, like gel pens. So they write really well, but yeah, I pulled, there's like that little plastic tip on all of the tips and um, I pulled it with my nails and it, like the whole bottom of the pen come off. So don't do that. But yeah, it, yeah. So yeah, don't do that. But they draw, they write black and they are really, they are really stinking cute. I like those. I'll probably take those to work with me tomorrow, but I like those. And guys, here's another set of pens and I will tell you, these were 93 cents. These are so cute too. That They call them vanilla mint, which they don't smell or anything, but like the color, I guess. Now I got ink all over me, but these are just really pretty. I love having a nice pen to write with. Ooh, that feels really nice in the hand. There's like two that are kind of like that style. And then they're just all different. Wait, what's this? Is this one a, this one looks like a double ended marker. So there's, this is like a whole different kind of set. Like this one has different fluid on the inside. These are really, pens are hard to show. I didn't realize how hard pens were to show. What the heck? Looks like these. I'm sorry if I'm hitting the table. And then the bottoms kind of look like this. But yeah, I really like these. I like the color. This is one of my favorite colors besides pink and black. But this one's like a, it's got a small marker and a big marker, or like a highlighter. So it's like different kinds of pens, but they're really nice. And they had the smooshy things like down here. So I love those. So those were 93 cents, and there was one, two, three, four, five, there were seven pens in there. Yeah, seven pens for 93 cents. That is so good. So good. Okay, let's go to this. <laughs> so this is a pet shaver. Um, I'm going to try and use this on Kermie's paws because he has like long hairs in between his toes. And even though I put, like, the litter mat out, and I even put, like, another, bl like, not blanket, another, um, what's the word, another rug out, out from that, he still tends to get litter through the house sometimes, but it's because it catches in between his toes, because his toes are hairy, which is, by the way, the most adorable thing in the world, but I literally have to sweep my floor 20 million gazillion times a day, but this is just, like, a little <laughs> pet shaver, thing and um let me see it's not you must have to charge it or put batteries in it wait okay it takes like two double a batteries but you just it, it's not gonna hurt him it's not like a razor it's just like a little you know put that little thing between his toes and honestly that'll even that's even if he'll let me do it because i don't know but this was 458 so we're gonna try it but he has the cutest feet ever in the world but his toes are hairy, so, you know, he's got hairy boy toes. But, okay, next are these. I don't know if these are, like, really even worth it, but they're, like, hat holders that you hang up on your wall. Now, Brian has a lot of hats. A lot of hats. And we get a lot of hats at work because when you work in construction, you know, like, in a company comes in, they always, like, want to give you a hat to wear with their name on it. But these are plasticky as heck a dollar 49 you get two and then you get like this little like sticky thing that they'll stick it to the wall so you stick them to the wall like this and then you put the back of the cap right there and then you can put you know several hats on here mm, i thought maybe if we put them on the inside of the closet he could hang up some of his hats on these i mean as long as it stays up and doesn't fall that's going to be the main thing you know because i plan on putting them like inside the the closet anyways so i don't know i mean they're cheesy but they were only a dollar 49 so and they're plastic so i don't know we'll see how that goes we'll see how that goes okay i got this for 89 cents it's a really long wire um it's just a really long wire to be quite honest with you but what i'm using gonna use this for is uh we have a I need to secure their cat condo down to the wall, so I thought I would use this. Um, you know, we'll wrap it around an area and, like, you know, nail it to the wall. But it's it's literally a cable, a wire cable-coated, a cable-coated wire. Say that three times fast. 
but I thought it would be really strong, and you know, they sometimes tend to, when they jump on the top, it moves a little bit. It's not going to fall where it's at, but you never know. I just want to secure it down, so that's why I bought that. 89 cents. I'm sure there's a million uses for one of these. They're very, very strong, so if you need to, like, tie something down, there's, like, a loop at each end, but anyway, that's what that's for. Okay, then I got this notepad. Now, I, I swear, I wish I had, like, a dollar for every notepad I've ever bought in my life because I'd probably be a millionaire. But this cost $3.59. It's a paycheck budget book. Um, <laughs> that's fun, right? Sounds super fun. But it's just the same sheet, so you can budget your paycheck out, like, every week or every bi-weekly or however you get paid. But you put, like, your income and your budget, like, a budget and your actual amount, your expenses, your debits, your bills, your savings... And then it'll tell you, like, your total income, your total bills, your total expenses, total savings, and then your total debt. But you just kind of fill in the blanks on here. But I thought, you know, it's a good way for me to remember to make sure I pay everything. Um, I, I like to write. I'm a writer. I like, I don't like to get online and type stuff like, like regular people do. <laughs> I'm old and I like notepads and paper. So, yeah, that's why I bought this. So, let's see if it says how many pages. No, it doesn't say. I have no idea. If I had to guess, there's probably like 50 or 100 here. Probably 50. But I just like to write down, don't forget to pay, you know, the borough bill. the elect Well, the, bar the electric's included, but, you know, or whatever. And then I get to see how much money I've left or what I can put into savings. All of that. So, I don't know. I just like these. But $3.59 for that. Um, they probably have them at Dollar Tree. I don't know. I doubt it. But, anyway. Okay, another set of nails, because we know I buy a million gazillion sets of nails. I don't see another one in here. I don't know why I said another. I guess it's because I buy them, like, every single haul. But these were $2.65 in medium. I love this color, and I've gotten this before. Boughten. I've gotten it. I've bought it. I've bought this set before. And it's got, you know, the nail tabs, the prep pads, and all of that. And then these are the handmade ones. Um, why am I breathing so heavy? I'm getting excitable. No, I don't know. I love opening stuff. Like, I feel like when I watch other people open things, I like to hear the paper open. It's like, it's like hearing them open a Christmas present. It brings so much joy. So anyways, that's what these look like. They're like a brown kind of bronze color, I guess you could say. They're cat eye though, because when you like turn them a certain way, they almost appear, um, gray. But there like that but they're really really pretty i love them they look so good but i thought they'd be like really pretty for fall but oh that stuck to my finger so that's why i got them i'm trying to like get some fall items and i don't know i don't i don't really do the halloween thing so i apologize if you're like waiting on bated breath for me to open up a big skull or something i just I just don't do Halloween. I don't know why. It's just a thing with me. I just don't. Now, I love fall. I will do fall. Pumpkins and leaves and all of that thing. But, like, I just don't... I don't like to hang up, like... I used to be super big into Halloween, but I don't like to, like, hang up skulls and stuff through my house or... I don't know. I don't know. I'm dumb. No. I'm just weird about... I'm, like, uh, it's like... It's like a... Not a ritual... What's the word I'm thinking of? Like a superstition. That's what I was trying to think of. Okay, then I got this. It's the exact same as the pink one. 248. Another headband. I swear I bought these before too. But this one's orange, which I love. I think orange looks so good on blonde hair with blue eyes. I don't know. Maybe I'm just hoping, but anyway. <laughs> it was 248, just a headband. Okay, let's go. Now, I know that I've had this bag a while because this is red, white, and blue. With that being said, though, I do love Americana stuff. I used to have my whole house, like, decorated in Americana. So, but this was $2.98, and I was going to put it, like, over the table because, um, or maybe drape it over a window frame. So, it comes like this, but you unravel it, Okay. And it's just a really long red, white, and blue, like, it's really soft. This would be pretty as just a freaking scarf. Why do I say a freaking? But anyways, that's what it looks like. 
very nice coloring and everything. But I, what I was going to do was kind of like get an old window frame and then kind of drape this over the window frame somehow. If you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of why I bought it. But it was $2.98 and the colors on this are fabulous. I mean, they are beautiful. Look at that. Very vibrant colors. I mean, really, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's like a sash, you know? But I just thought it'd be pretty on, like, a white distressed window frame of some kind. So that's why I got it. <laughs> but that was $2.98. Okay, then I have this little hand scrubby thing for $0.38. Cents. Heck yeah, that's a Timu price if I ever heard one. $0.38. Cents. I probably should review some of this stuff so you know how it works out. So I'll let you know how this thing works out. But it was $0.38. Cents. It You just slip it on your hand. It's got like, you know, the uh, this is like the bath. Well, you know what? This probably pulls out a little bit. So it's more like a, you got to zhuzh it. You got to zhuzh it out a little bit. There we go. Now it's looking like something, you know, like put your little body wash on there. This side is scrubby, so it's like an exfoliator, so you can like wash, then exfoliate, or vice versa. But yeah, 38 cents for these? I really like that. And then it's got a little loop, so you can hang it in your shower, but 38 cents, you can't beat that. That's a steal for 38 cents. Okay, this is a set of those cord keeper things. These were $1.48. I'm going to take these to work with me, I think. Um, cause I just take my laptop home. Like if I work from home, um, everything else stays there, but I just bring my, that was the cats. Um, and then they send you the little things to stick them on with, but this is what these look like. Are these, okay. They're like little magnets. So they open up, you put your cord in there and then you shut it. That's what it looks like. But you get one, two, three, you get six for $1.48. And then they also give you the 3M. Well, I, it's not probably 3M, but it's the little sticky tabs. But this way you can just keep your cords where they need to be. Um, and they won't go moving around. Because I'm always digging around for my cords when I get back to work. Which I hate. It takes me forever to, like, just find my cords. <clears throat> okay, $1.48 for those. Next is this package of Fragile. Must be from France. 73 cents for these. Oh, I've been waiting to open these. They're little car um, diffusers. And you get two, a set of two for 73 cents. They look like this. Let me take them out of the package so you can actually see them. But you get two. And it they go on your vent. And they're like little reed diffusers. Like aromatherapy, kind of. Whoa, I almost lost it. So you get this piece, which is like a vent clip. So you put the vent clip on. There's a little cork for the bottle. So you can fill this bottle with essential oils or whatnot. And then this cap gets screwed on. If I can screw it on with the vent clip on. Oh, wait. How's that work? You put your two little sticks in here. Then you put them down in the bottle. I think. I think this is how this goes. But, you know, don't quote me. So we'll screw the top on. Hmm, but your, you know, your essential oil will be in there and you just hang it on your, you know, somewhere in your car and then the reed diffusers like are right there. So yeah, I guess that's how you use it. I would not, I guess this stopper, I'm not sure what this stopper's for. I don't know. I guess if you take that out, I, don't, I have no idea, but either way you get two of them for 73 cents, which I think is a bargain, but how cute. But yeah. Just a little aromatherapy bottle for your car. Comes with everything you need, too. Okay, next are these lens wiping wipes. I'm taking these upstairs um, because I have some down here. They were $217 for $100. And, of course, they're just lens wipes, you know. Nothing, nothing spectacular about that. But you get $100, so that's awesome. Okay, this... It was three forty nine, and uh, I don't know why I paid three forty nine for these earrings. They're pretty, but are they that pretty? Mm, I don't know. I bought these before in a different color, but I wanted this color. 
but they're they're really pretty they're like a polymer clay i hope i can hold these up and i hope that the camera like focuses on them but that's what they look like and then they've got like some wood beads right here but they're really pretty i like them they're really really pretty and they feel really soft but i don't know they just seem like kind of like dainty and vintage so i like them and they came in this box so you could gift them so i guess it's kind of worth 349 then since they came in the box all right another set of nails and i've bought these a couple times too these were only a dollar 34 though which that's pretty good for these handmade nails a dollar 34 like that's that seems like a bargain to me um you they've i've actually seen them get up around like seven eight bucks so not real crazy about that i have a real mess going on the floor here i should have brought a garbage bag a big garbage bag so okay these are a size medium this is what they look like they're like a cat eye but they're like pink and yellow sort of or like a pink and beige type type of nail i don't know what would you call what color would you call those but they're pretty these nails I'm ha I have on are also from Timu. They're really nice. I just put them on. Now, I will tell you guys that I don't... I usually use the Candy Moyo glue from Dollar Tree. But honestly, I don't think the glue matters as much as your prep. You have to prep your nails. You have to prep your nails. I have a, I have a short on how to do your nails. If you go to my shorts, um, I take a nail file and I file the front of my nail. Just a little bit, just to rough it up. Then I'll take this, the alcohol wipe they usually give you, which I don't know where that alcohol wipe went, but I wipe that off and then I put my glue on and then the nail, or you can put your nail tabs and then the nail. So that's, a, the, the prep is the, the most important thing to getting your nails to stick. Okay. One last item in the bag and then I just have a couple other things. So these were 97 cents. They're like clips i guess for bags or they could be clips for anything but i'm going to use them for like bags of chips or granola or you know whatever so you get one two three four five six you get ten and they're kind of small they look like this so you get two light green two dark green two pink two red two purple but yeah so they were 97 cents i don't think that's bad I don't think that's bad at all. I like that. Okay. Um, I think I got these for free. <laughs> Actually, the next two items I got for free. Um, there was a bunch of these, but I separated them because I wanted to give some out. But I got a, a ten of these for free. They're like lavender sachets. And they smell... These actually smell like lavender. So they got like lavender, dried lavender all through them. But you, I got a pack of ten, but I, like I said, I've kind of given a few out. So, But I got them for free on Timu Circle. And then I also got this um, for free on Timu Circle. It's like a round kind of tray. I might use it on my um, couch to put like remotes or something in. Let me take it out of paper. It's, uh, it smells like rattan or something now. But I thought it was kind of cool. It's pretty big. You know, it's probably about a 12 inches, but... You know, I thought it was kind of nice. Um, if if you get it and you don't like the color, you can always distress these with, like, white paint. Kind of make them look a little bit more vintage. You know, if you don't like this color. But, yeah, I thought that was kind of nice. And I like the lavender sachets. They smell really nice. And then I bought this. It came on um, Timu Warehouse thingy. But it's Moline Leaf Herbal Tea, 28 Days of Tea for $7.41. Um, so I heard this is like really, really, really good if you have lung issues or some type of congestion or a cold or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I thought I would try it. Like if someone here gets sick, but I think they're tea bags, right? Yeah, it's just tea bags and there's 20, it says 28 days. So I assume there's probably 28 bags and in, in here, but yeah, so I thought we'd try it. And then last, but certainly not least, I bought Kermit a pet carrier um it was 11.88 which i thought was a really good price for this thing it's really really well made i can tell by feeling it it's kind of heavy now delilah's got her own carrier so i want to determine to have his own carrier 
Um, so, let's see what this looks like. All right, it's got directions. <laughs> oh no, not directions. Um, it's got like a removable pad in here. So this would be like the bottom that you can remove it. You know, like you don't need to use this, I would assume, but it's, it's a soft carrier. Sorry guys, I'm trying to put this kind of together, but I don't know. There's a strap in here. Here's the door. So let's put this down. I might leave this upstairs for a little bit. Okay. Well, I think the cats are just about due for immunizations. So I look for me to have to take them pretty soon. And that's already disturbing me, but I always take my cats when they need something like there's no, you know, it's just distressing when you get in an, in an animal, in an animal, yeah, in a vehicle with an animal that hates to drive. Now, Kermit doesn't mind it at all. The, we, we, um, actually adopted him from a cat foster, you know, a, a rescue shelter an hour and 20 minutes away. And that cat did not make a peep on the way home. So, oh boy, this is pretty big. So this is how big it is. And then the top, it's like all mesh, you know, except for the one side. There's only one side that isn't kind of like mesh. And then, you know, you have short straps or you can use the shoulder strap. I would all, I would use the short straps, but yeah, that's a nice carrier for 11 bucks. The one I bought Delilah was like $30. Sorry, Kermie, you get the crappy one. No, just kidding. Hers, hers was just overpriced Amazon. That's all. That's the only reason why hers was 28 bucks. But hers is a hard case, and this is a soft case, so that's really nice, I think. Do you guys think so? Eleven eighty-eight for that? <clears throat> really nice. I'm impressed with that. Didn't take long to put it together, so, you know, the, the directions weren't too bad. Every time I see directions, I panic. I'm like, oh, no, not directions. But, yeah, there's, like, little snaps on the side here where this goes. Snap over here. So yeah, I really like this. It's nice. You know, put a little blanket in there. Yeah, okay, well, that is awesome. I really like that. But yeah, here's the directions. That didn't take too long. All right, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I truly, truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for all the comments, the likes, and subscribes. Um, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. There'll be a link down below or a little box over here. I think it's over here. Maybe it's over here. I don't know. But it'll say subscribe in red. Um, so would really appreciate that. Also, don't forget to check out Faith's Champagne Taste on a beer budget. And also, please check out Miss Tammy Nall Tillett. I will link their channels below, or I will at least at them so you can get to their channel. All right. Thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Have a great time, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.